Hey K-popers, another K-pop review. This is on Kara. Kara, 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 Kara. Um, Kara's Dangerous Lady. Um, I thought this video was supposed to be released on like, I was expecting it to be released September 5th or somewhere between September 5th to September 8th. Maybe I haven't paid too much close attention to it or, you know, since then, but you know, I look up on YouTube yesterday, and I'm like, Kara just released a new music video. I'm like, I thought this wasn't released until, like, next week. Watching it. I watch it. I see it. I love it. Um, my God. Kara are just... One of the things I love about Kara, I probably say more than any other girl group right now. Um, maybe, maybe probably since Miss A. Um, and even Sistar to, to a degree. Kara are very, very um, consistent with their performance. I mean, they try pretty much every concept you can think of. And when you think that they can't do anything else new, because they've done everything else, they do something else new. I mean, and entirely different. Um, I just I just like this concept. I mean, it's, 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 it's different from, I forget even got the last, the last promotion, the name of that song. But it's different from their last promotion. It's different from the promotion before that. I mean, Kara, they they change each and every time. Each and every promotion is different. And their music is always different. It's never the same. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I like the song here. One of the things that really shocked me, I must say, and surprised me about the song was like towards the beginning. Um, I think it was Ji Young. I think Ji Young opened up the first lyrics or Guhara. But... After that, what surprised me was Sung Young. Sung Young's, um, she like hit this high vocal like towards the beginning of the song, and I'm like, no, that is not Sung Young. I mean, I know she's like the main vocalist of the group, but she's never, I had never deemed her for one of years from Kara to have a strong vocal to hit notes that high, at least, because she's never done it. So for her to do it and hit it, I'm like, I love you even the more. Because Sung Young is my bias and Kara. I absolutely love her. So um, I was shocked at that. Uh, I like the song. The song is very catchy. My only small complaint I have for the song, just Nick Picky. Just a little Nick Picky here, guys, just from my musical background. Um, I don't like the little rock anthem thing they kind of mix, that they kind of put into the song. That I don't really like. I think that's unnecessary. The rest of the song is catchy. It has a nice uh, rhythm, a pattern of rhythm and beats and sounds. And then it kind of goes into this, uh, it, it does kind of go, it does go into like this little, this little quick little rock like element. Like, and then it just, and then it like transforms to this other uh, 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 catchy beat or tune, electric, electric beat. Um, I don't like that 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 rocker uh, kind of like little guitar rift um, in the song. That's the only little complaint that I have because it's just like it doesn't fit with the entire song to me. It just doesn't fit. Um, but that's okay. Um, I do like the choreography. I like when they like they're like all in they're like in their suits and they're like shaped the little hips and I'm like oh god just just kill me now. And I, and I think they even, uh, from what I remember, like, one part of the choreography, I think they, like, they take their hands and they, like, slide it up their, their thigh all the way up to, like, their butt. And I'm like, oh, God, just, just no. Just, just, just no. Just kill me now. And Guhara, Guhara's never been my, my bias out of that group. She's a lot of people biases from Kara. But good God, um, Guhara, I have to say, this is the very, this is the first time I would say maybe since her Suju commercials, this is the first time I've seen Guhara where she's like becoming, where she, she's physically appealing to me. Like I found her for the first time, like I said, since the Suju commercials, I find her physically appealing and attractive. Guhara looks good um, in this video. She does. Her hairstyle, the color, I think complements her very well. She looks good. Um, obviously my baby Sung Young, you know, she's always gonna look cute to me, my little hammy. Um, so yeah, I like the song, I like the concept, it's different. Uh, I think the song is really good and really catchy. I just hate that, that, that rock 
rift in the in the in, in, in the middle as it leads as it leads to the, the the third verse. I just I just hate that that rocker thing. It just it doesn't fit. It doesn't flow well with the song. And like I said, maybe because of me, I just find a little bit just a little nitpicky with me because it kind of. It kind of messes up the song a little bit. Not entirely, because the song is good as a whole. But it's like, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Eh, bad part. And it kind of takes you a while to get back into the song again. After it's been kind of like tainted with this guitar, like rocker thing. I don't think that was needed. But nonetheless, you guys let me know what you think of Kara's Dangerous Lady in the box below. Subscribe. Peace.